Oh, I just want to talk so bad and I can't. <laughs> I'm out of breath. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So, uh, I haven't filmed in nearly a month, I think. It's been a long time. I don't know how I'm going to go with talking. I'll get to that in a second though. <laughs> okay, so for the last month, I've had two holidays. I've been to Tasmania for 10 days. I had about a week at home to do some orders and yeah, just do back end stuff. And then I went to Queensland with Reese as well uh, for another 10 days. And when we got home, we got the COVID. Yes. Anyway, I'll get into that in a sec. I have a vlog coming up about Tassie. I vlogged the whole lot and it was really awesome. I haven't actually watched any of it back yet because I haven't even edited it yet. And it's been a month. I I went to Tassie literally a month ago <laughs> now. It's gone way too quick. I really enjoyed it in Tassie. I actually preferred it more than Queensland, even though Queensland was the place we're meant to go. Tassie was just like a spur of the moment. But let's just go to Tassie. Met my bestie, my competition up there, uh, Sophie from April Scrunchies. I went to one of her markets. It was so hot. Oh my god, it's so hot in Queensland, uh, especially for markets. Holy moly. And yeah, and then we hung out um, a couple of days later and filmed like a q and A. I I don't know if that's going to be up. Probably won't be. This video will probably be up before that. As for this video, I will be going through some new packages that I've received while I was away. And I'm going to be prepping for my market. I have two this weekend. It's Easter long weekend, so I don't know how it's going to go. Could be busy, could be like no one around, maybe. Ah, oh, and then before I get too ahead of myself, when we came back from Queensland... I got the COVIDs. So yeah, um, I didn't have a very good time with that <laughs> at all. I'm still out of breath. Um, I mean, out of isolation, but I'm still out of breath. And yeah, it's still not fun at all. I had a really, really horrible experience. Oh, and I was meant to have surgery. So my surgery got cancelled because I had COVID. I was going to have surgery this week. Nothing too serious. It's just like an exploratory one uh, to check for certain things. Um, that means I have had to get like holes in my tummy, which I don't know. I don't know. Did I leave scars? I don't know. I didn't want to ask because I didn't really want to know because it might make me go. <laughs> Especially, ah, uh, I don't like that sort of stuff at all. So I'm try. I was trying not to think about it. Anyhow, it's um cancelled for another. I don't know how long. I don't know. I have to get put maybe put back on the waiting list. I don't know. Anyway, I'm here, out of breath. But we're going to try and do a vlog. Don't know if I'll talk too much. I feel like I want you because I've missed you guys. And I want to like tell you everything. But also, I'm out of breath already and I've barely spoken. Um, now, let's let's do the unpackaging first and like see what I've got here. Uh, and then we'll get into the making. I probably won't be taking you to the markets because I'm going to struggle at the markets as it is. Uh, I probably will... F probably get like my mum or dad or maybe one of my friends to help me do the markets um like setting up the gazebo and stuff will really take it out of me especially because I can barely walk from one end of the house to the other without getting puffed still so I don't know I don't know it's still like a day or two away the markets so we might be okay maybe start off with the not so weird things um, these are from AliExpress. I can't even remember what I got. I know what's in this one, but I can't remember what's in the other one. Okay, so I got blades. And these blades are different. Okay, so technically I got two lots of blades. I got ones that look like the alpha ones, so like they got the little ridges in them. And ones that are completely circle. I've been using the circle ones and they're pretty good. Like, they're pretty sharp. I don't know how long they're going to last. But I mean, the birch ones don't last very long anyway, so... And they're so much cheaper. So I recommend AliExpress to get your blades. They came in like this. So far, so good. But yeah, they're so much cheaper than Birch. I think Birch are like, I don't know, I think they work out to be like $3 a blade uh, when you purchase wholesale through them. These work really well. Let me see how much I paid. It took like 10 days to come. Okay, they cost me $7 for 10 pieces. So pretty good. Do I know what's in this one? Ah, oh, the clips. So I got these clippy things. You know, just a hold stuff rather than using pins and whatnot. I much prefer using stuff that won't hurt me. 
Okay, the next one's weird. I can't see you guys. Okay. <laughs> these, um, I got these because I saw them on TikTok. Someone was doing crochet or something. Um, yeah. They're like glasses that you wear and I can see my hands. So I can actually like, you know, without hurting my neck, I can do things. Like I can make a bows without like looking down. I can like look straight up, keep a really good posture sort of thing. And I can't even, I don't even know what, what you guys can see right now. Cause all, all I can see is my hands, which I don't even know if my hands are in the camera. <laughs> um, but yeah, so these are really cool. I uh, recommend. Also from Aliexpress. Uh, what are these called? Let me have a look. They're called Lazy Creative Periscope Horizontal Reading something something something. They're pretty pretty fancy. They look really stupid, but um, I think they'll help my neck maybe. Thought, thought it was just thought it was cool. Thought, thought it was really cool little contraptions. I was like, let's get that. My next unpackaging is a sponsor gift. So this is from Teddy Blake. Which does like designer luxury handbags. Looks like this. I'm trying to show you guys the unboxing too. Looks like that. It's got its own little bag thing and pretty little box. So the company name is called Teddy Blake New York. They're handcrafted in Italy by a team of designers and they have so many different choices. This was so hard to choose bag. Honestly, it was so hard. And I wanted to choose a bag that I would use in everyday life. The, I was going to choose one of the bigger bags because they would have been perfect for laptop or, you know, if I went to work, like if I had my studio not like two meters away from my bed, you know, sort of thing. <laughs> if I didn't have to just walk down the other end of the house and I'll be here. If I was actually like getting ready for work every morning and having to like drive to my studio, these bags, oh my god, perfect. I was, I really was really tempted, but I thought I wouldn't use them as much as I would use a smaller bag. They have experienced craftsmen, and they pride themselves on high quality construction, attention to detail, and imaginative design. All right, let's have a look. Oh my god, already the detail. They have like the. It's like engraved into this, into like the metal parts. There's their business name, like Teddy Blake. Okay, this is the one I chose. I wanted a little bag which I could go out with. Yeah, and it's a fancy little bag. Also, it has straps. Um, I know that, yeah, it has, because I like straps that like go across my body. Yeah, it has straps. It's not just like a little handle bag. Um, it could be if you want. Let's have a look. Okay, so it's got like its little. Thingies. Um, this one I got Ava Gold 9 inch Camel Brown by Teddy Blake. That's what I got. So this is the 9 inch one. Uh, there's, as I said, there's so many different colors, so many different sizes in these. Oh, look at that. They even have like the little thing at the bottom so the bag, bottom of the bag doesn't get scratched. All right, let's have a look at the design. Okay, so we got like the name here. We've got a little zip at the back. Nice little pocket, Put stuff in there. Um, we'll open this. Uh, okay, so that opens like that. Pretty. Okay, so we've got, yeah, we've got the strap. So I wanted one with a strap that I could put across my body. Really well made and genuine leather. You can do a bit towel. Oh, okay, so they have another pocket in here and another zip. So plenty of space to put things, important things. So if you want to have a really nice designer bag without the massive designer price tag, go check out Teddy Blake. And as I said, there is literally hundreds, hundreds and hundreds on there. Probably even thousands. I don't know. There's, oh my God, it took me so long to choose this one. It was a really hard choice. So you can go check them out below. I'll link them, uh, their website. If you wanted to go have a look for yourself, thank you very much, uh, Jenny Blake, for sending me this one. Did da That's the bag. Okay, anyway, that's what I had to show you guys that I've purchased. I have other things coming. What do I have coming? Uh, not, not nothing like fun. Not, not nothing like, you know, designer bags or these things. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, what do I have coming? I have clips. 
heap of clips coming and elastic. Not my normal elastic. I have other elastic coming because the elastic I'm using currently for like my minis I don't really like. It's not stretchy enough for me. I like the minis to be really stretchy so. Anyway, let's get on with the video. So, there is... I'm already out of breath. <laughs> ah! Oh, I just want to talk so bad and I can't because <laughs> I'm out of breath. I'm fine to be working it's just, and I've rested, I have rested, I slept for like a week straight, like, yeah. Um, and in Victoria, Australia, it's recommended, well, we have to do seven days isolation, and I've done my seven days. I've done my prison time, so <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be back in the studio now. I have so much to do. So I'm pretty much out of stock of nearly everything. I had a market last weekend and I got my friend to do the whole lot. I hadn't done any restock for that market and the markets before that I hadn't done any restock. So I've probably done like three or four markets without doing any sort of restock. So I'm low on my minis. Okay, I should be okay for deluxe bows. Although I want to make some pom-pom bows. I made a heap. Really gonna have to do a lot of normal size crunchies. XLs, no, I'm all good for XLs because I still have heaps over here. Okay, I need to do heaps of pink bows. Oh, mini bows. I have like three left of mini bows. I have to do heaps of mini bows. Really gotta stop talking and just like get into it. Let's do this. Uh, yeah, as I said, this is mostly just a making vlog and like catch up. Because I feel like I haven't talked to you guys for like, literally it's been months since I've been on the camera besides filming with Sophie, so... It's been ages. Um, all right, let's do this. Let's 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 get into the bows, and then we'll get into scrunchies.
Okay, so I've made quite a few bows. I'm really happy with what I've done. I sort of do need to check. It's over there. My bows. Uh, I need to check the deluxe bows. I <laughs> didn't make the pom pom bows. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. I don't know. So yeah, as you can see, there's not really much pink in here. I've got a few mermaid ones though. I didn't know I had that many. Okay. Um, the box is broken. It's been broken for a long time, let's be honest. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna need to restock this, I think. Ah, oh, damn. I will have to do a couple. I didn't want to. Um, okay. I have to do a couple of those. Probably this material. A couple others. Also, I got these. New thank you cards because I'm running low. I haven't got many left. I'm running out of space here. I don't know where to put them. They don't fit in here like the other ones did because these are like real big packs of them. <laughs> Flow. <laughs> the grass looks so bad. Okay. They had like, I don't know, a sale on. So, finally, because uh, usually they haven't been doing sales lately that much. So I just got a whole bunch. Uh, I really wanted to put my YouTube on there, but I couldn't be bothered because like, I'd have to, I would have had to got my laptop out and redesigned the like front and, well actually the back of it. And the back, I don't know, it's on Etsy somewhere because I purchased the design from Etsy and I'd have to go find that and then yeah, and then I was sick with COVID, so um, I couldn't be bothered doing that. I just pressed order again. <laughs> so yeah, I still don't have my YouTube on these, and it's been over a year and a half since I started a YouTube channel. Oh well. And I don't have it on my business cards either, and I really need to, but oh well. Yeah, they're done. I have heaps of mini bows under here somewhere. I mean, there's not heaps, heaps, but I mean, there's, there's a couple. They should be okay. I'm also up to, like, season eight of Grey's and we we all know what happens at the end of season eight well at least I'm pretty sure it's at the end of season eight and I'm not ready for it I'm so oh, I'm gonna cry so hard
Okay, so I've just finished making all the scrunchies. I still have to clip the bows, but I think I'll do that tomorrow. And I've just finished cutting all the threads off the scrunchies as well. Right now, I'm going to sort out the box that goes on the board. Um, it is quite full, but it's full of pretty much odd scrunchies. Um, pretty much all of them are odd, or so like barely twos. Um, so I'm going to take all of them out and replace them with all the new ones that I just made. Um, I'm just going to see what I can put on the board and then I'm going to pack my car. I've just finished doing all that there, <laughs> clipped all the bows and sorted out all the scrunchies. I made so many scrunchies, I didn't even realise how many I made, uh, which is good because the whole board is now fresh, fresh scrunchies, which is nice because I haven't done a full re refresh in quite some time. Um, I'm going to go pack the car now and then go to sleep because I'm really tired. I don't know if I'm going to get back on. Um, I might. Before the next market, I might just tell you guys how I went, but I'm not bringing you to the market because I just cannot. Sorry. Hi guys. Okay, so how did I go over the weekend? Um, Saturday I had sale and mum didn't end up coming with me. She was meant to, but she ended up not feeling very well. So I just went by myself. Luckily, uh, they made us, well, made half of us be inside which I was really thankful for, so I didn't have to set the gazebo up because if I did, I think, yeah, just would have been too much for me. Yeah, I was pretty puffed and exhausted and I had, like, my face went bright red <laughs> continuously because I just kept talking, like, non-stop and I wasn't getting enough oxygen <laughs> to my body because, I, yeah, I just, because I just couldn't breathe properly. Um, so that wasn't very good, but... Besides all that, I did really well. I wasn't actually expecting to do very well because it's it was Easter, so well Easter Saturday, and there was so many other markets on. But I did really well there. I did post this on my stories, but I thought I'll just say it here anyway because a lot of people might not see my Instagram stories if they don't follow me. I posted like questions and answers sort of thing, and I was sharing them because uh, you know I was bored at the market, even though it was busy. But I was like, oh, something to do. So I was just answering questions. Someone asked, uh, how much money do you make at markets? And like, it, it is different everywhere you go. I feel comfortable sharing that. Like, it doesn't really bother me to share that. It's at country markets, uh, not during Christmas period. So Christmas, obviously, I make a lot more um, sales. And in saying all this, I've been going to the same places for a long time. So I have a lot of clientele there, like that come, people come just to see me sort of thing. Uh, a lot of like the new places, are, if I attend a new country market or like a new market in general, sometimes I don't do very well because I haven't really got my name in that location sort of thing. Anyway, generally in a country market, I'll do upwards of $500. Um, sometimes, yeah, so anywhere between like 300 to like 800 But I mean, I can make more than that too. Like I've made over $1,000 just at a country market, um, which I'll get to that in a minute. And then at the more expensive ones, like near Melbourne, I'll probably make again between 600 and 1500 normally. But like in saying that, I've honestly sometimes done better at the country ones than I do at the ones that are really expensive, closer to the city sort of thing. Like so one of the markets I did, I made like less than $300. And I think the store cost me like 140 and I had to travel two hours. I like it was horrible. So I just didn't go back. But then I think that same weekend I made over a thousand dollars and it was like a 20 minute drive and it was 25 bucks <laughs> for the store fee. Um, so yeah, this weekend I did, I think close to 700 at sale, which is better than usual. Usually I do about $500, um, 700 probably closer to Christmas time. So yeah, I did really well considering it's what, April. Uh, and then Glengarry, 
So usually I do packing them uh, during, like they, they shut off during uh, the winter months, winter months, which I think is like for six months. Yeah, I'm going to be at Glengarry for the next six months, which is good because Glen is my hometown. That's like where my family house is, my well, the farm is and everything. So it's like really close to me. It was $15 and I made 913. It was, it was crazy. I was not expecting to make that much money at all. I was, you know, going to be happy with 200. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it was, it was crazy how much I made there. And like, it was the same thing that happened with Trailgun like last month. I made over a grand there and I was like, all the locals, I guess, know who I am and want to just come support me which is really nice so uh, let me know in the comments below what you think like if you've watched this far into the video like you guys deserve to know because you're loyal followers anyway so um let me know what you think is, is that like what you expected me to make is that way more than you expected or way less yeah as i said they are country markets so like i was pretty impressed like in general for the weekend uh but that is not you, usually that's not how much I usually make. It's usually around 500 per market for average sort of thing around this area. But yeah, let me know what you reckon. Crazy amount or not enough or about what you expected. I think the poll poll that I put up was when I posted that was like very even across the board. I think it was quite close. So I went to sale and we, we know what's at sale, don't we? Sale spotlight. <laughs> it is... The best spotlight, in my opinion. Um, Trailgun's alright when you go at the right time and you get lucky. But sale, doesn't matter when you go. There's always a bug in there. So I went to straight to the clearance section. Yeah, just beelined it there after I packed up from my market. So anyway, I'm going to show you all the fabrics I got. So this is going to be like a little fabric haul. There's just so much. I don't even think I'll be able to lift these up. So I might have to just show you. And keep in mind, this stuff was so cheap. I got a lot of these fabrics for between three and four dollars per meter. I was so excited to go in there and find my favorite sort of fabric uh, for really cheap. And I got the whole roll of everything. Like whatever I purchased that was clearance, I just bought the whole roll. That's just what I do now. I just buy the, I buy everything, especially when it's that cheap. Because um, I'll, I'll use it eventually. Like it actually doesn't take me that long to use like a 10 meter roll anymore. Like it really doesn't, especially if it's for XL scrunchies. And I, yeah, I just, I go through so, so many meters real quick. Anyway, here are the items I got, plus this massive bag down here. So there's quite a few. Let's have a look. So we got the turquoise, which I have already purchased a roll of that in the past, but I purchased another roll. That's um, like a, a gray. That's actually silver, technically. So that was on clearance as well. The blue over there wasn't on clearance and... I just bought that because I thought I was running low. Turns out I had, I just remembered I purchased like 10 meters not long ago. So uh, I didn't need to buy that, but I did anyway. What else we got? Plum. That's a satin as well. So uh, that is another one of my regular colors. The bronze is a regular color of mine. I got this uh, material, which is like, I don't know what it is. It's suede. I have it's right over there. You won't be able to see it really. But that's the same sort of material. I think it's the same pattern. It's just this one's a pink one. Uh, so I just bought that because I, I like the feel. This one's like a chunky uh, knit thing. It's like, what is it? Is it scuba or something? Scuba knit. I don't know. The, some of the boards aren't even what they are as well. So I don't know if that's the same one. But yeah, I did not pay $25 a meter. I paid like $3 a meter for this one. Um, what else? We've got this one. So I already had this one in the past and I saw this sitting like in the full price section. So I grabbed it because I knew, I was like, that's a clearance fabric. I purchased a whole roll of this like a couple months ago and fair, uh, sure enough, it was a clearance fabric and it was down to $4 a meter. So I bought, purchased another 10 meters of that one because I'm really low on it. This one uh, is another, this one's like a stretchy thick knit. I used to have a, a bow that was like really popular. I had a galaxy bow that was this fabric. Anyway, so I bought that. I thought it'd be, I don't know, I might try it for XL scrunchies. Uh, I, I have no idea how many meters were in, on each of those, but I think some of them were like 10. So one of them was 14. I think it was that one. Okay, in here. So I got a few different pieces. This one's been super popular. It's like a, uh, I don't know, unicorn one. So I bought that because that one sells really well in markets. Okay, what have we got? 
I might actually just show you. I'll... I was going on a blood test and oh my god, my, my hand, arm, god it hurts. <sighs> I'm seeing a new doctor, so uh, we got new new blood tests. Oh, I hurt so bad. She's like to me, oh, it doesn't matter what arm you get it on. But then I remember last time I got blood tests, like in December, my arm was dead for days. But I feel like that's going to be the how it's going to go. Okay, so I got this one. It's one I've already had, but I usually used it for face masks. I have one that's similar. It's just got white on the background, uh, which I use for scrunchies. But I've been asked for Leopard Print XLs. This is the only fabric I found that would be suitable. Because uh, I tend to stay away from rayon fabrics just because they crumble up so much. When I'm charging $22 for an XL scrunchie, I want to make sure I'm using the correct fabrics that are actually going to stay like nice looking uh rayon don't, won't stay that way they will look not very nice within a couple uses so even that in one use <laughs> so i'm like cotton stays pretty nice so it has satin and velvets that sort of thing they all stay like plump and just fresh looking this rayon doesn't so yeah i've tried i've bought this one to try out i haven't actually used a cotton one yet i don't think so this will be 112 centimeters usually i use about 100 and 50 centimeters uh with like satins and stuff i have used 112 in the um knits and i think corduroy they turned out good but this is like a much thinner fabric so i just i don't know how it's gonna go i just bought it just to see oh so that was full price by the way that one well not full price i mean it's still 40 percent off got this one so i'm not really a black fan um but they seem to sell well at markets Honestly, I don't even think I have that many uh, darker colored fabrics online. Got this one. I quite like that one. That was quite nice. Um, as I said, I purchased whatever was left on the roll, so some of them don't have much. There's this one. This one's like a real weird sort of... I don't even know what you call that. It's got like a, a layer on it. I don't even know how it's going to go, honestly. Feels weird. I don't know how that will sell up, to be honest. Um... Got this one. That was two dollars a meter. That's just a poly cotton one. So I've got very similar one of this in rayon, but I barely got any left of it. So yeah, I thought I'd grab that. I I kind of like the I don't know what you call that. It's like ribbed, ribbed sort of stretchy stuff. More of that. Got this one. I have this in another. Uh, I think I've been using it for XLs. Um, I think it's called Marie. It's pink. So, I oh, might not even be called Marie. Maybe it's a new one that actually it's up there. I haven't got the even. I haven't even got that one up yet. So yeah, I got that different color. I got this one. So that's another cotton one. I love satin for the XL scrunchies. So I got that one. I don't know how that one will go. I mean, it could be popular. As I said, I'm not really into the darker color, um, like flower ones. I got some of this. Gives me clueless vibes i've had this material for whoops i dropped the whole bag i have had this material for ages uh, this is like one of the first materials i had uh it's olive pebbles or something but this was on clearance and there was another roll there and i should have went back and just got the other roll but i didn't that was also on clearance all right and then we had this one it's like a satin one this was one of the first materials i picked up though so like if I had walked around. I probably wouldn't pick this one back up. Uh, it once I picked up everything else, but that's okay. So this one still might sell. I will probably make it into exiles as well. So there's that one. A bit more fresh colours. So yeah, that's all of my yeah haul for now. And I'm going to be doing a massive clearing sale tonight. Um, that's what in like five hours. <laughs> Actually, no, I got more than that. I got eight hours. Eight hours to organize everything. Really, all I have to do is just mark down stuff on my website and I want to upload a few more XL scrunchies. I just need to find out what scrunchies I want to put on the clearance and... Oh, the hair claws. I have to upload all the hair claws. There's so many hair claws to upload. Uh, because like this time I went with a different supplier than I usually do for the hair claws. So I didn't purchase like the bulk of them. I purchased... When I was purchasing, they had like, you purchase the four pack sort of thing. So I didn't want to 
purchase 10 of the four pack and have 10 of each of that same color sort of thing because like the colors were very similar i don't know so i only purchased like four of each of the colors um so yeah there's actually not that many but i've got over 800 of them i think i purchased which I can always buy more, but I just want to see how these went. No, so far they're selling really well at the markets. Uh, I have a festival coming up, which I'm hoping to sell here at. But then again, I don't even know how the festival's going to go. I, I, it's either going to be really good or like really bad. At the moment, the festival has cost me $750 just to go. And yeah, I, I just, I don't know if I'm going to make that much back because... People probably won't want to buy stuff at the mark um, at the festival, and there's not many other store holders there. There's only like five other people, and they're not really stuff that you buy. Like maybe if it was like a three day thing, maybe um, people might want to buy hair accessories. But I'm just sort of like hoping for good weather. If it's good weather, might might be in luck. And people with like little bags because they can clip their hair clothes onto the straps. But I'm feeling like. I'm not going to sell a lot of bulk things. I'm just going to sell like one or two items and that's it per person. I just, I really don't know how it's going to go. Uh, I don't even know if I'm allowed to say how much store fare was. The store fare was quite expensive <laughs> and then I had to pay for accommodation for the night before because you have to be there at 7am. It's a three and a half hour drive so it's like $80 worth of fuel for me, maybe more. Um, my car's pretty good on fuel but uh, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be a very big day. And then... I'm hopefully going to pack up early because uh, I really doubt anyone's going to be anywhere near the market stuff when the first, like the actual music's on sort of thing. So, yeah, I'm not packing up 11 like like after everyone leaves. I'm going to be <laughs> I'm gonna be out of there probably hopefully like 8 or 9 uh, and just wheel everything back out to the car. I am going to have help with me. I don't know if I'm going to have two people or one person. Reese might be helping and... Riley, my friend, is definitely helping. So we'll just see how we go. I've talked enough. Let me know if you like the fabrics I got too. I need to go because I need to start another video, uh, which would be my, you know, release clearance, massive clearance sale thing. Uh, I don't know how what I'm going to film for that, to be honest. I really don't. But, yeah, I'm going to do that. That's about what I'm up to right now. This week, I'm going to be doing the clearance sale. Uh, I don't actually have any markers next weekend, which is good, so I'll be able to stock up on stuff. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I have a market the next day after the festival, so I have to drive three and a half hours back home at whatever time I get to leave. So if I left at 11, that's I don't, really, it probably take four hours to get back home. So, what, like 3 a.m. in the morning, and then I have to be back up at 6 or something to get to the other market. Mm, not fun. Uh, so yeah, I have a market the next day, which is also another festival, but it's like a medieval sort of festival and I do really well at that one. Usually I've been to that market quite a few times, um, over the past couple years. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's going to be a very big weekend for me. Uh, and I, yeah, I just, I, I have a feeling it's not going to do very well. Uh, I don't know. I just, I want, I just wanted the opportunity to go and like, I just thought it was really cool to like be invited to Groove in the Moo. Uh, I thought that was cool. Um, yeah, it's Groove in the Moo, by the way. Um, let me know if you're going to that one. I don't know if this video is going to be posted by the time uh, it's already been, but yeah, let me know if you're going to go or if you did go, if you did see me there. I don't know. I don't know how it's going to go. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go. I'm going to go and work on everything else now. And I will talk to you guys in like two seconds when I do the next video. Anyway, if you stuck around this long, thank you for watching and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye!